OK, if this was the basic print exposure, what I'm now going to do is make two further exposures. And I'm going to do it in the light so you can see what's going to happen. First of all, I want to darken the sky down a little bit. And I'm going to do that by increasing the exposure a tad. And then I'm going to do a, a burn-in exposure. And after that, I'll do the pen line exposure. OK, the first step is to increase the exposure in the sky only. Um, I'm going to use a piece of red card to shade in the, the land when I burn in the sky. And I'm simply going to increase the exposure on the analyzer until the sky exposure comes up to a darker grey setting. And then press and hold that button and let it print in the sky. Once it's done that, um, I might want to burn in the corners as well. So at the moment, um, it's set to a twelfth of a stop. I've just added two, which is a sixth. So what I'm going to do is add a few more steps, and then I'm going to burn in a quarter of a stop around the edges of the print. So again, I'll do the first burn in exposure on the left hand side, and then I'll do a second burn in on the right hand side. And then I'll also do a burn in on the bottom of the print to give it some weight. So there I've done a basic burn in on three sides, which is unmetered, but it just comes from uh, general knowledge and experience. And then the sky was done specifically with a particular setting. And now we're going to move on to the pen line. I need to explain the pen line system here. Um, I have this plastic mask and it sits on top of the printing paper and then when I project the negative on it gives a nice clean boundary uh, to, to the print and obviously consistent boundaries between prints. When you consider that this piece of plastic had this aperture cut out the middle, if you take that aperture and then trim a millimetre off one side and another side and then pop it back in, you actually have a gap. And if you move that gap around, you can print in a solid black line on two sides and then the other two sides and give a, a lovely pen line. And if you want to be very cool, you position it in the middle, leaving a very thin line around the whole perimeter. And you, you turn the light on around that and produce a very fine pen line. And the way I do that is I have a, a flasher and it is basically a low intensity light source that I stick under the lens uh, sitting on the safe light filter which swings across and it il softly illuminates the entire area and just exposes that black line. And I know from experience it takes about 30 seconds on the flasher in order to, to fog the paper to a black. Now obviously again I'm not in safe light conditions, I need to do this for real and then I need to show you the final result. OK, these are the two prints. On the left we have the standard print, which was just a, a main exposure and nothing else. And on this side we have the final print. And what you can see is we have more sky tone compared to, to the first print. We have this thin pen line that just keeps the print contained. And we have a bit more weight in the bottom of the print and on the right hand side of the print too. But the essential details of the sky, uh, just so that it shows the, the cloud formation, and you can just still see um, the details in the bush. And so hopefully that's given you an insight into how to use the analyzer's meter to give you a straight print, and how to then use its advanced functions to give you more options to produce uh, a fancier one.